What's up guys? I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Today I want to show you guys something. So I'm going to flip this around. All right, so this right here was sent to me for review by Ella Crow. This is the Crow Pie. It's brand new. And right now you can't buy it. It's still on Kickstarter. I'm going to show you guys the Kickstarter page in a minute. But they send me this pack right here that has everything you need. I'm going to go over that in a second. Then this is the Crow Pie. Let me remove this cellophane right here. Let's turn it over. Let's actually look at it for a while. Uh, it's, a, it's a neat little uh, briefcase. And I guess they have different colors. They sent me this color. And this is like a pinkish purple. I think it's more of like a purple. And it's like a mini light suitcase that you can carry around. And you guys are gonna love this. So I already opened it up. So let's open it up right here. Now, when I did open it up, I found a surprise. See this button right here? It broke off uh, during shipping and I emailed them. So hopefully maybe we can get a new one or they can send the replacement button and give me instructions on how to you know, replace it. So bam, this is the crow pie right here. So, so this is the crow pie. It looks amazing, doesn't it? So what is the crow pie? So basically the crow pie is like an all-in-one kit for uh, learning electronics and, and uh, messing around with the Raspberry Pi. It's got a LCD screen. It's a touch screen, by the way. It's got all these components and you can mount the Raspberry Pi here. It's got these cables that you can connect to the Raspberry Pi. This is the HDMI that will allow this to work with the Raspberry Pi. It's got uh, power and it's got USB. So right over here, this is the power right here. And uh, you can power the Raspberry Pi using a bunch of different methods, but it's got a wall work in this bag that we're gonna go over later on. And down here, it's got a built-in breadboard. It's got built-in uh, GPIO pins, other stuff like sensors. These are sensors down here. We're gonna go over these sensors, not in this video. This is more of like a, a brief overview and like a semi unboxing and a first boot of the device. We're gonna do a bunch of different videos where we test out different uh, components in this, uh, in this package. And I'm really excited and eager to test those out. Let me show you guys the button that broke during shipping. It's this one right here, it's sad. Hopefully I could, you know, figure out how to maybe fix it myself or send this back and they can fix it and send it back to me. But basically all these buttons here are for um, messing around and programming. And this whole kit basically is for like people that want to learn or mess around with like electronics, learn programming and all that stuff, components, learn uh, computer science. This is perfect for uh, students in classrooms. This is the ideal kit. So I would recommend this to uh, schools that are like uh, trying to teach these type of uh, topics, whether it's electronics, programming, uh, Raspberry Pis. This is the perfect kit, so highly recommend it. But um, logo right there, Crow Pi. Now I got my Raspberry Pi. They didn't send me a Raspberry Pi. This is the Raspberry Pi 3 B Plus. They did not send me a Raspberry Pi because I already have like a million of them. So this is the Raspberry Pi B Plus. We're gonna test it out with this kit right now. Right now I'm downloading the image that is recommended for this kit. So basically once you download the image, uh, burn it onto the SD card, put that SD card on your Raspberry Pi, connect everything, power it up, everything should work. So we're gonna test that out right now. All right, so this is everything that came in that package right here. We got two servo motors, one right here, one right here. We got a IR remote control two connectors right here. The top one, the small one's for a Raspberry Pi Zero. The bottom is for any other Raspberry Pi, like the B Plus or the Three or the Two. Uh, down here we have, I already told you about the servo, we have this power brick or power charger for this device. Right here, this little device here is for the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is the USB, I'm sorry. This little device here is for the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is a HDMI adapter. It allows a Raspberry Pi Zero to connect to this border here, as you can see. This part here is meant for a Raspberry Pi Zero. This part here is meant for a normal size Raspberry Pi. These four screws are meant to screw in a Raspberry Pi, whether it's a zero or a regular full size. And it comes with a screwdriver. This is a NFC uh, chip right here. This is a, a IR like sensor. And this is pretty much, this is everything that came in the packet. All right, and I'm also using my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. It did not come with the package. 
I'm downloading the ISO image right now. It, on their website, they have their own ISO image that allow this to work. You download it, you burn it onto an SD card, connect that SD card, connect your Raspberry Pi to this device, and it should be good to go. We're gonna move on to that step right now. All right, guys, so I connected everything right here. The Raspberry Pi is connected to the Crow Pi. I connected the USB part right here. I connected this part, which is like a uh, cable that allows you to connect the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi to the GPIO pins of the Crow Pi right here. That's connected. This HDMI port is connected, which will allow us to, to uh, view everything on this touchscreen monitor. So right now I have this cable. This is the power cable that powers the Crow Pi. It's connected to my wall board right down there. I noticed in one of their promo videos that uh, they were using a, um, a backup battery. So a backup battery should be able to power all this without any problem. I'm gonna test that out in another video. Now all that's left to do is power it up. To power it up, all we need to do is press this power button here. I'm gonna press it and I'm gonna hold it. Now it lit up. Hopefully uh, something should happen on the screen. The screen should start. You should see a Raspberry Pi logo if everything went well. And bam, right there, everything went well. By the way, I forgot to say that I did install the SD card. I was able to get their uh, their ISO image that has all the settings already set up for you. So you, know, you don't have to do anything else and it's good to go. So let's zoom in right here. As you can see, it's fully touch screen right here. I'm pressing okay. I'm interacting with the menu here, as you can see, fully touch screen. This monitor or this screen right here is amazing. I think it's a seven inch or maybe more, but it's freaking amazing. I think seven inch and 1080p. I, I love this whole setup, man. This thing is so beautiful. Like this color uh, purple is so beautiful. Um, the only downside, uh, this came broken. Came broken, this button right here was popped off and I, I emailed uh, Crow Pie and uh, they emailed me back and um, I'm gonna send them some images, see what we can do from there. But this is just the first video. This was like an unboxing, then a, a first boot. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos using the Crow Pie. I, I absolutely love it. And there's so much functionality, so much to learn in this one little suitcase right here that is so amazing. But that's pretty much it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thank you guys for watching.